Hey guys, you're watching No Reserve Classics. I'm Chris Mazzarella, and before we get started guys, if you haven't done it already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because you guys never know what's gonna be coming next. So hit that notification bell, so as soon as we let off another video, you're gonna be the first one to watch. And guys, here she is, the moment you've all been waiting for. This beautiful frame off restored 1969 Chevrolet Camaro SS427 Pro Touring Resto Mod. That's right guys, you heard me. It's got a 427 inch big block Chevy crate motor. She's even got a 700 R4 automatic transmission with overdrive, vintage air, a custom houndstooth interior, bare disc brakes, hydro boost, power rack and steering, and even a 12 volt rear. So guys, stay tuned and let's check her out. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, Chris, at 1-800-562-7815, and I'll be sure to answer any questions you guys have. And I know you guys can't be with me here today with this beautiful turntable, but if you visit us at No Reserve Classics, you'll be able to take this vehicle and any of our other vehicles on a 360 degree tour. That's right guys, from your home, your couch, your cell phone, anywhere you are. Just go No Reserve Classics, put this baby up on this turntable right here and spin her around in a 360 degree view. And after you're done looking at that beautiful exterior, head over to the inside of this vehicle where you can then again picture another 360 degree virtual tour. All right guys, hop inside. Let's take this baby out for a ride and see how she cruises, huh? Now that's how a 427 big block shit sound. A very meticulously done machine. As soon as you sit in the seat of this car and turn the steering wheel and start driving, and you feel just how tight everything is from the steering, to the gas pedals, to the shifter, and just how well put together this car was. This car came out of Midland, Texas, and the gentleman we bought it from was the gentleman who restored it. And wow, wow, we was he meticulous and did he know how to build a true machine? And that's exactly what this thing is. 427 cubic inch fuel injected motor, vintage air serpentine kit, with of course vintage air, air conditioning and heating controls, classic industries, old style looking gauges that look absolutely phenomenal. The carbon fiber gauge cluster matches the center console, the front of the center, center console, and a 700 R4 transmission, four speed with overdrive. And you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen? That means that you could get out there and drive this thing. And I'm pretty sure the person who buys it, the man or woman who buys this car when they first get it, it's the car is so beautiful, you're scared to get in it and drive it. The paint is so gorgeous, the body lines are so gorgeous, the whole exterior of the car is just so well put together that you're gonna be scared to drive it. But that's what these cars are made for, and that's what this car was built for. It was built for someone to get into it and drive it. And it's got all the modern amenities you would need. Not only fuel injection like we just talked about, an upgraded stereo system, of course the air conditioning, the heating, the updated gauges, the updated stereo system with Bluetooth. And as far as comfort goes, super comfortable. I'm pretty sure these seats are custom made by Procar and they truly hug you in. And when you're cornering on this car, which you are able to do thanks to the updated suspension on this car, you want something that's gonna grab you and make you feel comfortable. Well, that's exactly what this car has. But not only are you comfortable inside the seats, you have modern safety, three-point seat belts. Three-point seat belts did not come factory in 1969. In fact, I'm pretty sure lap belts were an option in 1969, as crazy as that sounds. Talking about the steering, you got rack and pinion steering that makes things super easy, really makes a difference. You got updated sway bars, updated springs. Everything is brand new on the underside, polyurethane bushings. Again, the car is super tight. And then as far as braking, bare disc brakes. The best of the best. Four wheel, slotted and drilled bare disc brakes, but it gets better than that. Modern hydro boost braking. And if you've never driven a classic car with hydro boost braking, it is an absolute must. You'll never want to get out of the car. You'll never want to go with factory 
power assist braking or even at that factory manual braking because the hydro boost braking makes that much of a difference. Phenomenal acceleration, no rattles. The whole car was completely dynamated. In fact, even the roof was dynamated. So everything's extremely quiet. It's crazy. You feel like you're in a brand new 2020. And for all you taller guys out there, of course, a tilt column, how nice is that? A lot of these options might sound like nothing to some people, but it is truly nice to have this in a classic car. And it is truly a breath of fresh air to be able to drive something, a machine, a classic car that is as well done and well put together as this one. And look, we all see a lot of really nice cars out there. We a lot of times get really nice cars that need a bunch of our work. This car really didn't need anything besides very, very minimal stuff. This car was just a very extremely well sorted and well put together car. And if you want power, you got plenty of it. 427 cubic inch GM big block motor, fully built, Fitec fuel injection, 700 R4 trans, and that all goes back to a 12 volt rear with 342 gears, which is the perfect setup with the 700 R4. This is an awesome car that you could literally drive cross country comfortably. How amazing is it to say that about a 1969 Camaro? So we talked about driving cross country and how comfortable and how able this 1969 Camaro is to do that, right? What about true hardcore performance and handling? And this thing handles awesome and is super, super tight. 18.8, 18 18x9.5 Boyd Coddington two-piece wheels, performance all-season tires. The whole build has about 450 miles on it, 417, but it'll have 450 by the time I'm done with it. So let's say 450 miles. So there you guys have it. Awesome 1969 Camaro Pro Touring car. I'm gonna take the uh, last few minutes and enjoy myself a little bit in this car and I'll see you guys back at the barn. And guys, how cool was that? Thanks for sticking with us through that driving video. Now guys, let's take a look at the exterior of this video. And I know you guys saw that bad boy passing through all those curves and that sun just gleaming off that beautiful gloss black paint. Now that's because the exterior of this vehicle has been fully colored sanded and you can notice all those beautiful body lines from the front all the way to the rear. All the gappings from the hood to the door to even the trunk looks absolutely great. And that's due to a lot of new metal in this vehicle. From the fenders, even the rear quarters are brand new. Now let's start off in the front of this vehicle. As you've seen guys, that beautiful SS front end. It's just a classy look that you'll always get out of these beautiful 69 Camaros. On top of that is that beautiful two inch steel cowl induction hood that is operational. Now guys, if you notice under the bottom and in the rear, the D80 spoiler package just sets it off and gives it that beautiful aerodynamic view. Now, looking through the vehicle, what you might not notice are the bumpers, and that's because they're color matched. That front enduro front bumper is color matched, and that real steel bumper is also color matched, so everything's blended right in. And guys, how could you forget? Look how smooth this baby is. The deleted drip rail moldings on top of the doors, the front, and the rear lights that were normally in the front fenders and the rear quarters, also deleted. Another thing, deleted, the door handles. So this baby is super, super smooth. And as we're looking at the side, the only thing that's not shaved are those two-piece Boyd Coddington polished wheels. Now they are staggered. You can get an 18 by eight in the front and an 18 by 10 in the rear, giving this baby that super aggressive muscle bulldog look. And guys, a little bit further in the back, just a tad bit of billet around those taillights and that center gas cap relocation. Now normally in these vehicles, behind the license plate is normally where you would fill your gas. Not in this beautiful car. You got that beautiful gas cap has been relocated in the center tail pan. So this baby is smooth, sleek, and definitely one of a kind. All right, guys, now let's see where all the magic happens. 
Now look how nice this looks underneath. Now everything is beautifully blacked and or polished except for these really cool Chevrolet valve covers. Now let's get into it a little bit more. First thing, this big bad boy right here, that's our fuel injection unit, our Fitech self-learning fuel injection system. You're gonna be able to get into this car, put the key into the ignition, turn it to the on position, let that high fuel uh, pump go through, and bam, crank it right over. 500 horsepower, crank it out of this 427 cubic inch, big block Chevy motor. Now, this baby has a lot of inputs on it. We have our Hydro Boost brakes here, connected to our stainless steel brake lines that are connected to our bare brake disc setup all the way around. Now moving forward a little bit, getting into our comfort zone, vintage air, cooling the entire vehicle down from the whole inside. Now connected to that is a full serpentine kit. So that means one belt, six rib system, connecting all your electronics, your alternator and everything all together with one belt. No more two V-belt system, single one serpentine kit. Now while we're talking about keeping things cool on the inside, let's talk about keeping this motor nice and cool. We have this over, oversized aluminum radiator with dual electric fans. We have a full Optima red top that matches those valve covers as well as the EFI intake manifold holding all that cool air down to the motor. Now a few little cool accessories that we have underneath the engine is we have the inner fender wells that have been painted gloss black. We have really nice billet aluminum brace hood hinges as well as our Chevrolet filler panel. Now underneath this hood, you have all this massive power, cranking all that power down to that 700 R4 transmission that definitely turns the wheels on this bad boy. All right guys, now check out one of my favorite parts of the vehicle. Where we spend our time, the interior. So let's hit that door popper and let's take a look inside. Check that out. So, a little bit more comfort that we have, like 2021, bringing it right up into style. Now, as soon as we open this door, that beautiful deluxe houndtooth interior. And one of the ways that you can know that it's a deluxe houndtooth interior is by the way this door handle opens. And right next to that, you're gonna notice these buttons. 1969, they didn't have those nice, cool, billet shiny buttons. What are they? Power windows. That's right, all four of these bad boys have power windows. Now let's take a look a little bit further inside. That beautiful deluxe houndstooth interior. One of my personal favorites, I love the houndstooth interior. Now, no matter your size, big guy, small guy, tall guy, short guy, any size, this vehicle, this pro car seat right here, now this is the rally seat. This is really, really important to know because this seat will hug you no matter your size. As Soon as you get into this vehicle, it's like somebody coming around you giving you a big hug. Now also holding you in, front and rear as well, the three-point seat belts. Just for a little bit of safety, so if you got the kids or your friends hanging out, you have somebody in the back, you also have a three-point seat belt. Now looking ahead, those auto meter gauges are beautiful. They match the Flaming River leather wrap steering wheel with that beautiful chrome and stainless steel accents. Just gives it a definitely a nice taste of luxury in this kind of vehicle. Now, while we're talking about luxury, let's talk about Bluetooth sound system. We have speakers underneath your kick panel. We got speakers in the rear deck. All you gotta do is pull out your cell phone, connect to Bluetooth, and bam. Not only will you enjoy the rumble of the motor, you'll also be able to enjoy your music as well. And on top of that radio, that vintage era, as I was saying before, gonna keep the front seats and the back seats ice cold. Now remember, it's an electronic, so simply swoop up, swoop down. No more trying to get it into the gears as you normally would. And what I mean by that is originally when it came with cables that had to pull the lever up and down. This is fully electronic, so 2021. This car is really nice, guys. It's just push it right up and slide it right down. It gives you really nice cold air, really nice heat. And while we're talking about comfort, one thing that a lot of the newer and luxury cars that say, um, a Cadillac, for instance. You get in the car, you close the door, you don't hear the outside. Why? Because the way the vehicle is set up, all the seals on this vehicle, not, are all, not only are all the seals on this vehicle brand new, but if you notice something, you don't hear that, right? Solid sound. The entire roof, 
the entire trunk, the entire floor of this body has been dynomatted. So you're not gonna get any of those rock chip noises coming from underneath. You're not gonna get in all these weird squiggly noises underneath or on top or outside. Once you close that door, you roll the windows up, you blast that air conditioner, and you blast those tunes, whew, you're gonna forget where you are. Now, if you guys thought the exterior of this vehicle was stunning, wait until you get a look at the underbody. Just how clean and simple it looks underneath. The fully undercoated car from front to rear, and you just notice the cool accessories. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about the stainless steel headers. I'm talking about the full pipes exhaust from front to rear with the X-pipe in the middle. Brand new coilovers in the front with shocks, Bilstein shocks front and rear. That beautiful Milladone high capacity oil pan, a full custom drive shaft, and how could we not forget, the only piece of elegant stainless steel underneath this bad boy are those awesome stainless steel brake lines. Now they are stainless steel all the way from the front, all the way to the rear of this vehicle. Underneath the rear leaf springs, they even have the sticker still on them. The stainless steel gas tank with that awesome high pressure fuel pump, the Hotchkiss sway bar, and it's even got a massive 12 bolt rear with 342 gears. So if you guys are looking for a vehicle that not only looks good on the outside, but on the underneath, you can just eat right off of it. Super clean, super elegant. All right guys, and based on my professional experience, we've rated this vehicle a one through 10. Three separate categories. First category, performance and handling. I've given this vehicle an eight. Second category, comfort. I've given this vehicle an 8.5. And last but not least, quality of restoration, 9.5. Giving this vehicle an overall rating of 8.5. And there you guys have it. This beautiful frame off restored 1969 Chevrolet Camaro SS 427 Pro Touring Resto Mod. Now guys, remember, 427 inch big block Chevy crate motor, 700 R4 automatic transmission with overdrive, vintage air, power steering, custom houndstooth deluxe interior, power disc brakes, hydro boost, 12 bolt rear. Guys, she's got it all. And guys, I'm Chris Mazzarella, and you've been watching No Reserve Classics. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a call, Chris, at 1-800-562 7815 and if you guys haven't done it already make sure you hit that subscribe button because you never know your dream ride could be in the next video